see why I said no calculators. This is just, do you understand how to work with these numbers? Right? And this is basically, chapter one is all about whole numbers, really. Uh, and sign and integers. You know, sign uh, 4 minus 7, like this. How does this work? What is 4 minus 7? Yeah, the smaller number minus the bigger number. Yeah, so anytime, tell me, tell me this, that 4, what sign is it? Positive. And then there's a 7. Now, I know we think that's a subtraction symbol, no. and it is, but a subtraction symbol is also a negative. negative. Yep. So that 7 is negative. So anytime the two numbers have different signs, you subtract and put the sign of the bigger one on it. So what's 7 minus 4? 3. three. And the bigger one is negative, so it's negative. Kick ass. <laughs> and very quickly, uh, and again, this is a really big place where some of my students who get into my upper level courses still have trouble with this, just because it was never fully fleshed out and they, the teachers let them use the calculator so they don't get it. Um, so some of you guys are like, well, this is easy, what the hell? But I'm talking to the people that aren't that way right now. Four, how far is it to get a zero from four? Four. So four minus four, of course, is zero. So if I go four steps down, that gets a zero. How many more steps do I have to take? Three, one, two, three, so that's why it's negative three. I mean, you can think about it like that. Uh, another way I thought about it before was if I was four feet above the ground, like on a, on a sand hill, and I, and I dug seven feet down, I would be three feet below the ground. I mean, something more visual to think about. If I have four bucks and I owe you seven, I could pay you off to the point where I still owe you three. I mean, that, another way is money, because we have to deal with money every day, so people get money a little bit quicker. I like it. And if you have no trouble with it at all, hey, there you go. Don't worry about sand and money and all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> money really works well here, too. When they're the same sign, you add and put the sign on. Because if I owe you 12 bucks and I owe you 5 bucks, overall I owe $17. So I'm 17 in the hole. I like it. Unfortunately, two debts don't cancel each other out. That would be amazing. But they don't. <laughs> now, let me ask you guys, how did you do this part C? I added, I, I added to the 1, 182. Use that as the. You added what now? I don't know, I added 182 because I know 182 equals. Oh, I see. All right, so some of you guys can kind of fill in what 818 yeah. needs to become 1,000. Right. I like it. Yeah. So some of you guys looked in it like that. Did so somebody else do it a different way? I mean, the, the yes? You did stuff, sure. Uh, yeah, it's just right like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then what do you have to technically have to do? A lot of barley. Yeah, you got to go. I like to take a shot of barley. What do you say? A lot of barley. A lot of barley. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can take a <laughs> shot. A lot of barley. Right, a shot of something. And I'm like, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, down, I'm, down, I'm down for shots. A lot of barley. <laughs> By the end of your homework, I don't know. You probably want to be home when you do this. Yeah. Have to be legible, so you have to borrow from this and make this 10, and then you can borrow from that and make this 10, and then you can borrow from that and make this 10. Oh my god. I'm going to show you a shortcut for this, but let me just do it by the book. Then you can just do 9 minus 8, 9 minus 1, 10 minus 8, and then we catch up to the 182, right? Now, watch this. It's kind of cool. Let me ask you something silly, something that seems like it's not related. What is 7 minus 5? 2. Uh oh. <laughs> now watch, this gets interesting now. Now I know this on one level is not interesting at all, but I don't care, because it's gonna be interesting once we apply it to this harder problem. What's six minus four? Two. Two. Now notice how I went down by one on seven, I went down by one, and of course the distance between them is the same if I move them both by the same amount, right? So now watch. 
For this 1,000, that's 2. 1,000 minus, what was it, 18? Okay. Let me make this go down by 1 so it becomes what? 999. So if I make this go down by 1, the answer is the same. You guys get that? Because subtraction is distance between two things. So if I make one go down one and the other one go down one, I'm still going to get the same answer. They're still the same distance apart. But look how easy this became. Take that down by one, take that down by one. Now I don't have to borrow shit because I got a bunch of nines. <laughs> right? <laughs> got you. The last class, was, there wasn't this, the last class somebody was asking me, are we allowed to cuss like you? Uh, sure. No. But what I normally say is that if I offend you, then just, you know, wait a minute and I'll do it again. <laughs> so if you can't quite handle it, sorry. I don't drop f bombs normally, but. <laughs> so now it's easy. One, eight, two. Yay. Do you guys kind of get the idea? Or, a little bit. So now watch. If I had 1,001 minus 818, I can still do the same thing, except now i got to take this down by how much? Two. 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 So I can still go to 999, but now i got to take this down to 816. If I, as long as I move both numbers the same direction, subtraction doesn't care. Now addition, of course. With addition, you got to... Anyway, addition is a whole other thing. You can take some away from one and give it to the other guy, and that, that works. But yeah. subtraction is really nice. All right, I'll stop. 12 times 13. If you don't know what it is, you have to set up the multiplication. Some of you guys know what it is? 156. 156, or you can do the 12, 13, and do this whole thing. Yeah. I like it. So I will give you problems like 87 times 93, just to make sure you can line it up and do all that stuff. See what it is? So if you don't know your multiplication tables is bad, it's a bad place to be. I don't care that we have calculators, we're the humans, we have to be better than the shit we create. Right? <laughs> you with me? Or not? Alright. Uh, Alright, I wanted to put fractions on here, but this isn't a horrible fraction. Yes, sir? Uh, can't, 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 can't. Again, sir. How to get the answer? Yes. What's up? Yeah, go ahead. I love it because what is it about fractions? I, I I have a very good feeling that a lot of you don't like fractions. Now, some of you might be okay with fractions. Anybody okay with fractions? I like it. I like it. Uh, the rest of it is like, oh man. Uh, but this one's not that bad because it doesn't have what makes fraction problems difficult, which is different bottoms, right? And when they have the same denominator, that's like like terms. You know what I mean when I say like terms? Like what's 2x plus 3x? 5x. 5x, thank God, it makes sense. 2x's and 3x's, I got 5 freaking x's. I'm going to say it quickly. So this 2 fifths plus 8 fifths is some number of fifths. So all LCD is, is making sure that you have like terms. That's all it really is. And sure enough, you get how many fifths? We're back to like three fifths. Ten fifths, which is? Two. It's crazy. How are we doing there? All right. Obviously, we'll do more advanced fraction problems later in the semester. But I just wanted to throw that on there to see who would uh, who would freak out. All right. So, any questions so far? On anything? I mean, are you guys all cool with what's going on? Okay. Now, what does part F entail? What do you have to use for part F? Please excuse my dumbass son. I mean, Jaron son. <laughs> now, real quick word about PEMDAS. Unfortunately, some teachers should not be teachers because they teach this incorrectly. This is what you normally see, and that's actually misleading because it makes it look like multiplication comes before division. The only reason it's that is because that's easier to say than that. PEMDAS versus PEMDAS, and then we uh, <laughs> took a shot of something, you sound, it's not me, it's PEMDAS. <laughs> uh, my point with this is, you don't do multiplication for division, you do them as they come. 
right? So the way it really should be written is like that. Definitely parentheses first. Definitely exponents next. This as it comes. This as it comes. Multiplication division are on the same level. Are you guys understanding? Yes. Has everybody ever had a teacher actually explain that that way? No. 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 It's that simple. It's that simple. So, for example, uh, in this problem here, I don't multiply first. It wouldn't make any sense. Which number can I write on the bottom if I rewrote that division? How would I rewrite this? How do I rewrite division? Four over. No, be careful. Four, four divided by four. So I can rewrite that as four over four times four. Now, if you make this 16, is 16, that doesn't make any sense. It's not fair. It's not fair. What's the only thing being divided? 4. Yes, sir. 4 divided by 4 is 1. I love it. So you do it as it comes. Kick ass. I like it. You're like, dude, let me just get to the answer. I'm with you. But I want you to understand why it's true. If you make this 16, you suddenly shoved all both 4s underneath. That doesn't make any damn sense. The only thing to be divided is that 1, 4, not both. You guys get that? So if you realize MD is one level, you do it as it comes. Whoever comes first, that gets done first. Does that let that make sense? And this is the grammar of math. That's why it's difficult if you don't really know it. Just like any language, learning the grammar is one of the worst things. If you've learned a separate language, you understand what I'm saying. And everybody in here has because math is a foreign language. It's got its own grammar, it's got its own terminology, it's got its own weirdness. So with all that said, oh my gosh, what do we have here? We have parentheses. What what all operations do you see? Addition, addition, multiplication. Good. Right here, this is multiplication, right? And subtraction inside. So what am I going to do absolutely last? Addition. It's way at the bottom. This addition gets done last. So it's not a bad idea to know ahead of time what you're going to do last. Because the big mistake here is people say five times, what the hell? How do you get five? This is two plus, I don't know yet. Right? So what do I do first? Four minus two. Good. No? In the parentheses. Now technically you could distribute the three, because distributive property is true. You could distribute the three. But why would I? I know what four minus two is. Right? So distribution is normally used when I have something like this. What is x plus 2? I, I don't know. It's pineapple. I don't know. So then you have to do this, right? Yeah. If you don't have unknowns inside, why would you do it? 4 minus 2 is? 3. I love you guys. <laughs> and now you can do, yeah, sure. Now you can do 3 times 2. 6. And now we're going to do the addition last, like we knew. Oh, we had some bets going on. All right. Like it. I get 10% of any bets. It's my class. All right. How are we doing there? Is that is that cool? Sucks. 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 You say that with a big smile on your face. I'm not sure how to take that. I'm not smiling. You're grimacing. Okay. It's just like painful my brain. All right. I don't mean to directly hurt your brain. All right, all right. So what about this guy? Good old long division. Uh, uh, okay. So you have to figure out which multiple Beautiful. You gotta go far enough out until you get to where seven can actually do something. Seven can't go into three. Good. Seven goes into thirty-two four times. Twenty-eight. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Subtract. Four. Four, and then bring down four. Oh, four. Seven goes into forty-four six times. Forty-two. We are beyond the days of big R, right? Don't be giving me no big R. Yeah. How do I have forty-six and two? Sevens. What? 
Let me show you an example with smaller numbers. You ready? I really want this to make sense. Watch, watch, watch. Keep, keep watching. So you guys are not watching. Keep watching. So 11 over 8. Now watch. 8 doesn't go into 11. 8 goes into 8. Right? I'm going to keep you guys with me. You just go with me. Some of you guys are like, what the hell are you doing, Jeff? That's amazing what you're doing. 11 is 8 plus. You can do it. 3. <laughs> now, now, stay with me. This is weird. And you're like, what does that have to do with what we just did? Give me a minute. Uh, I can now, what am I divided by 8? Both of these. So I'm going to do 8 divided by 8 and 3 divided by 8. What's 8 divided by 8? 1 and 3 eighths. 1 and 3 eighths. Now watch. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever seen that. That's To me, that's neat. Because that really shows you what the remainder is. It's the excess shit. 11 is too big. If only it was 8, there's 3 extra shit, right? So it gets left on top of the 8 still. So watch what happens when I divide this long ways. 8 goes into 11 once. So it's 1 and 3 still left over 8. Because of this. That's why it works that way. That's what a mixed number is, right? You guys semi with me? And again, a lot of what's on this we're going to review as we get to more fractions later. So if you're not completely clear with this yet, we have an entire section of fractions later this semester. But I'm trying to show you stuff that maybe you've never seen before. Math is supposed to make sense, believe it or not. There are people that are in the profession of teaching that shouldn't be. They don't totally understand it themselves. But I, sh I have to be able to answer you several different ways if you don't understand something, because that's my job. right? So this, I love looking at it this way. It explains remainders a little bit better than maybe you've ever seen. I don't know. Um, or maybe somebody's seen that before. Does it make any sense? Yeah. A little bit. Okay, I can, t I can take a little bit. I, I can do it. I'm going to have to do it a couple times. Beautiful. Do it. That's what you have to do. I like it. Uh, and then I wanted just to throw you a little bit of variable stuff, right? But this isn't too major. Five A's take away three A's. Two A's. Two A's. So that's a little like term kind of stuff. So everybody freaks out about throwing letters into math, and that's what math really is. But uh, it's the same kind of idea, but it's just this like terms. And then finally here, this now we want to do one. Careful, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 1 is 2. Now, real quick, I want to show you why this is true, and then I think I'll uh, consider letting us out a little early. Let's see. It normally wakes people up when I say those words. I don't know, again, I don't know if you've ever been shown this. What does this really mean? Let me do this back here. What does like 2 times 7 on a really basic level mean? 2 what's doing what? 2 times 7 is 14. I know it's 14. But explain to me another way to look at it. It means 2 what's doing what? 2 7's doing what? Adding. So coefficients, numbers that are multiplying by something else, indicates how many of those you have adding. Is that cool? I like it. So when I wrote 5a, another way to think of it is that's a plus a plus a plus a plus a. Yeah. Right? Is that cool? Because I want to consolidate that and just say it's freaking 5a's. I'm not going to write five freaking a's everywhere. You with me? I don't know. All right. So 2 times 7 is 7 plus 7, and which is 14. Now, please, dear God, I'm not saying you have to do this every time. I'm showing you something related to it. Now, if I have two times anything, I could just write this thing twice and add them. That's what it means. So when I, this was the problem we just did. So what do I do? I got two of these. One of them plus another one. So what's x plus x? And what's negative one minus one? So why do this shit? Just the shortcut. Just bring the two through. That's what happens. I got two of everything in there. That's why distribution works. And now if I put 200 here, I don't write 200 of these. Just multiply both by 200 because you know that's what's going to happen. And have you guys ever seen that? Has anybody ever explained to you why distribution property yeah. works? Yeah. Yes, good. Yes, I'm glad to hear that. They should. They have to. 
Don't just say, this is how we do it. No. Don't accept that answer from anybody. All right, let me think. Is there anything else I wanted to do with you guys today? You're all like, if you're asking us, we're going to say no. Oh, so let me just say this. I don't know. I said this earlier, but just make sure you understand. If you want copies of homework out of the book, if you're having trouble accessing the book or whatever, you can just come to my office and I can print you out like the first homework assignment or whatever if you need to. Okay. Otherwise, you just go to the tech ball or something and print it out or your house. Yeah. Uh, do I need that? No. Is that you? No, you do not want to see this at all. Yes, I want it. Okay. Give me. Put your name on it. I'll give it back to you next time. Now I'm curious that I got that. No, you don't want to see it. So that little uh, warm up sheet, put your name on it and pass it on up. I'll give it back to you next time. Oh yeah, actually I have. Uh, but you want it? I should. I I printed out a copy, but I don't. It's kind of small, small type. So you, I don't know if you need a if you need to print out larger, or do you have something that can uh, that you use to make it larger? Like, would it help if I gave you this? This is the first homework assignment here, right? Is that okay to give it to you like this, or do you need it larger? Bigger, okay. So, uh, I can print it out for you and give it to you next time, or would that work? Yeah, I'll give this to you so you can have it. And you can always tell uh, DSPNS that there's a link to the book on the website. They can maybe get in there and print out big copies for you, right? Oh. oh, is that everybody? You guys are awesome. Yeah, I can, I can do that for you.